Now we're going to add the chain mounts for the Y axis. You can see there's grooves so it can be adjusted up and down just in case you need to. We use one, we'll use one and a half inch screws and cross dowels. Leave these loose in case you want to adjust it up and down if necessary. Now we'll put this one on the other side. Other chain mount, it's like a longer L and it goes on the side that has the thump. Use one and a half inch screws and cross dowel. Don't tighten them all the way yet. So we're finished with the mounts, now we can actually put the chain on. We're going to put the chain on the y-axis. Okay. Start with putting an eye bolt through this slot here and starting the loop to the nut on the eye bolt so we can still adjust it back in when we're done. Get a hose, uh, hose clamp and put the hose clamp through the chain, chain through the eye bolt, and then you're going to loop it back into the hose clamp. And tighten the hose clamp so the chain will not move. Test it. Okay, that's good. Now we're going to loop the chain around the sprockets. We're going to go over the drive, uh, idler sprocket and then under. Okay, now we'll take the other eye bolt. I'll put it through this slot. We start the, the nut on the eye bolt loosely and then go get a hose clamp. Slide the hose clamp go through the eye of the eye bolt. On the eye bolt, tension it as much as you can and then tighten it. So tighten it as much as you can with your hands. And then tighten the, the worm drive of the hose clamp. Okay, now you can tighten the, the chain using the, the nut in the back. So, so tensioning the chain can be done with your hand. And then do the same thing on the other side. And also check if you got the drive sprocket a little too close to the motor like I did, you'll need to adjust it, readjust the drive sprocket. You can do this while the chain is on so it readjusts by itself. That's the first set screw. You can feel it with your fingers. Okay. Now it's able to adjust by itself into the correct location. And then retighten the set screws. Okay. That's good. I'm gonna use a ratchet just a little bit. Not too much because I don't want to tension it too overly tight. these chain mounts to the correct height. You can see that this one is falling down a little bit. You can just bring it up. And if it still seems to be on the bottom on, or on the um, angle down, you can just take the, the chain and wrap it around the other side of the eye bolt to make it a little higher. I'm just gonna do it that much and fasten it all the way. Tighten all the screws. Now let's do the other, same thing to the other side. See, it's going up a little bit too much, so we want to bring this down as much as we can. And that looks good. Okay, so that one's done.